The end of the world may not be nigh, but it will come. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming events that could end the world. Yeah, we are closer to a potential use of a nuclear weapon. For this list, we'll be looking at future cataclysms that could end the world as we know it. We're including events that are ongoing, as well as those in the near future, or even billions of years away. Which of these scares you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Melting of the Wilkes Basin Found in East Antarctica, the Wilkes Basin is 870 miles long and 250 miles wide. It's becoming clearer that parts of Antarctica appear to be unstable and are losing ice much faster than we expected. It functions as a sort of ice plug, trapping a vast quantity of marine ice from melting. But scientists warn that it's at risk of deglaciation due to climate change. Climate change is also having a measurable impact on a much slower moving development, the loss of glaciers and the melting of the ice. Should the drainage basin melt, sea levels around the world would rise by 10 to 13 feet. Granted, this would take approximately 10,000 years to occur, but the results would be catastrophic. Ice shelves are very important. They're essentially acting as bouncers in the bar, leaning up against the door and keeping the ice from flowing into the ocean. In 2022, Science Magazine classified the melting of the Wilkes Basin as an irreversible tipping point in Earth's climate system. Number 9. WR-104 When stars reach the end of their lives, they can collapse into themselves and form black holes or neutron stars. The cosmos has so many catastrophes in store for our fragile little planet. Among the scariest is that one day we will almost certainly find ourselves in the path of a gamma ray burst's death ray. And when this happens, the star explodes and emits an incredible amount of electromagnetic radiation known as gamma rays. This explosion is called a gamma ray burst. 8,400 light years from Earth sits a triple star system called WR-104. The object is an example of a wolf Rayet star. They occur when certain massive stars called O-types run out of hydrogen fuel and begin to burn heavier elements. And it's dying. More research is needed, but it's believed that the primary wolf Rayet star will go supernova in a few hundred thousand years. While it's extremely unlikely, the resulting gamma ray burst has the potential to hit Earth. And if that happened, it would be very bad news indeed. The danger is in the long-term effects on the atmosphere. Gamma rays break apart nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the atmosphere, which then recombine into various oxides of nitrogen. Those molecules are the real killers. Number 8. Flipping Poles while Earth has a solid inner core, the outer core is liquid, composed mostly of iron and nickel. Currents within the outer core generate the magnetic field that protects Earth from solar wind and cosmic rays. Earth's magnetic field is what shields us from harmful space radiation, which can damage cells, cause cancer, and fry electronic circuits and electrical grids. The magnetic field's poles are at the far north and south of the planet. However, at irregular intervals, hundreds of thousands of years apart, they trade places in what's known as a geomagnetic reversal. No one is really sure why it happens, but it's thought to be caused by changes in the fluid portion of the Earth's iron core. It's a slow process that takes thousands of years to complete. The last reversal occurred 780,000 years ago. We don't know a lot about what to expect, except that the magnetic fields will be chaotic potentially increasing our exposure to radiation. The field weakens but doesn't switch off completely. So there may be higher incidences of cancer and other mutations from more high energy particles reaching the ground. Then again, maybe nothing much will happen. No one really knows. Number seven, Gliese 710. As stars and their planets hurtle around the sun, they sometimes brush by each other or even 
crashed together. Close encounters with nearby stars, nearby rogue planets even, were much more common during the very earliest days of the solar system's formation. And in the far future, it's going to happen to us. One star, called Gliese 710, is on a direct collision course with our solar system. In about 1.29 million years, Gliese 710 will pass close to the Sun at a predicted minimum distance of 10,520 astronomical units, where each unit represents the distance between the Sun and Earth. What we need to be able to do is get better understanding of our solar system and keep an eye on the sky. The enormous gravitational pull of the star could potentially perturb objects in the Oort cloud and send comets hurtling our way for millions of years. It would be difficult to predict exactly when the impact would happen, but there would be this phase, this sort of danger zone in which the chances for a catastrophic impact with something of a comet size would be much, much higher than they are now. If one of them hits Earth, it could cause widespread disaster. Number six, the big freeze. So far, we've been focusing on Earth, but there are even bigger things to think about. There are a few different theories about the ultimate fate of the universe. Everything has a beginning and an end, including our universe. But what will the end of everything we know look like? They depend on the rate of expansion or overall density. One, the big crunch, will see the universe stop expanding and start contracting until it all collapses into another singularity. The Big Rip will see the expansion of the universe eventually tearing it apart. The final result is that no particles will be close enough to interact with each other, ever. So protons and neutrons will be separated into their component quarks. That is the Big Rip scenario. Based on our current knowledge, the most likely scenario is the Big Freeze in which expansion robs the world of warmth, ending in heat death. Either way, the universe will be effectively dead. The universe would become darker and colder, approaching a frozen state also known as the Big Chill, or the heat death of the universe. Number 5. Banu Discovered back in 1999 and named after an Egyptian mythological bird, Banu is an asteroid that is headed toward us. One of Earth's closest neighbors is a dark, jumbled mass of rocks and boulders known as asteroid Bennu. We don't have to worry about it, as Bennu won't reach Earth for another 150 to 300 years, but it will cause quite a scare for our great-great-grandchildren. The chances of the asteroid striking Earth are about 1 in 1,750, so you wouldn't want to bet on it. During this encounter, our planet's gravity will tweak Bennu's path, making it a challenge to calculate its future trajectory and the odds of a potential impact late in the 22nd century. But if future generations get really, really unlucky, then the consequences will be catastrophic. It isn't as big as the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, but it could still cause widespread devastation. If Bennu were to pass through a keyhole, Earth's gravity would bend its path in just the right way to cause an impact on a subsequent orbit. Number 4. An Upcoming Ice Age We're currently in an interglacial period between ice ages that started about 11,700 years ago. The current respite is called the Holocene Era. It began around 11,000 years ago. Temperatures rose, glaciers and woolly mammoths migrated north, and humans thrived. Human activities have also warmed the planet, increasing the frequencies of natural disasters and pushing many species to the brink of extinction. However, even assuming we don't tip our home into a runaway greenhouse effect, we also need to reckon with the next ice age in our planet's natural climate cycle. If the climate were a little bit cooler, then summer may not be warm enough to melt all of the winter snow. Then, it would build up year after year, slowly creeping south. According to experts, this may be another 50,000 years off. Global warming could push this to 100,000 years. Afterwards, the world will enter another glacial period. Based on the repeated natural cycles seen in the climate record, we'd normally expect the Earth to continue a trend of gradual cooling for the next few thousand years. 
However, this cooling abruptly reversed about 150 years ago. Our species made it through the last glacial period, so there is hope, but we would have to adapt considerably to survive. Number 3. The Russo-Ukrainian War The Russo-Ukrainian War began in 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea but escalated dramatically in February 2022 with a full-scale invasion. This radar station took a direct hit. Russia is picking off Ukraine's military facilities one after another. But Ukrainian troops are fighting back, and Russia is also suffering losses here. Much of the world has united behind Ukraine, but as of writing, the conflict continues, with devastating effects in Ukraine and economic fallout around the world. It's caused widespread anxiety, as many fear the use of nuclear weapons. He said, among other things, that the risk of nuclear Armageddon right now is the highest that it has been since the Cuban Missile Crisis in 60 years. While stating that he doesn't intend to use nukes in Ukraine, Russian President Vladimir Putin has referred to using all means available to protect Russia. Those who try to blackmail us with nuclear weapons should know that the prevailing winds can turn in their direction. There are also also fears around Russia's treatment of nuclear power stations in Ukraine, with sites like Zaporozhye and Chernobyl of particular concern. Number 2. The Holocene Extinction Event We are currently in the middle of another mass extinction event, known as the Holocene Extinction. Many scientists think we are now in the middle of a mass extinction event. Is this true? And will we survive? The Holocene Epoch has seen widespread extinctions of both plant and animal species. It's thought that much of this has been due to human activities, such as hunting and habitat destruction. Mass extinction events can wipe out as many as 90% of all species. Humans would most certainly not survive an event of that magnitude. One frightening 2022 study published in Science Advances estimates that between 13% and 27% of terrestrial vertebrae species will be gone by the end of the current century. Marine life is also at risk thanks to overfishing, pollution, and climate change. The disruption to ecosystems will be devastating for humans as well. Biodiversity ensures the health of our ecosystems and thusly human survival. Not just because of the disease threat, but because we need fertile soil to grow crops. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the sun will destroy the earth. Turns out, our planetary neighbors are out to get us. Let's take a moment to imagine what that would have looked like. A giant planet getting bigger and bigger and bigger on the sky until... The moon has been slowly drifting further away from us, but there is a possibility that its orbit could decay instead, resulting in it crashing into Earth in about 65 billion years. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that, because in about 5 billion years, the sun will have run out of hydrogen and will expand into a red giant. The sun will swell into a red giant and flash fry the Earth. This process will take a further 2 billion years, and the star will grow over 250 times in size. This is bad news for Mercury, Venus, and Earth, as all three will likely be destroyed. So. In about 7.5 billion years, Earth and its interstellar neighbors will be no more. It'll heat up, swell, and engulf the inner planets. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.